Yo, what is goody everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you clicked on this video, you know what that means. That means that you woke up this morning, so that means that you are winning. So are you stressed? Our problems cannot phase you, can't phase me, because you and I are already winning, fam. So I can actually talk a little bit loud today because Camila and Baby Lo actually spent the night at their grandma's house. Thank God for grandparents. I actually got a full night's rest. So um, in today's video, guys, we are gonna do a high carb day. And the reason why we're doing it on a Monday and not a Sunday is because tomorrow I'm going for an epic, epic PR, which I will talk more about a little bit later in the video. But I'm already a little bit far behind because I actually woke up a little late today because I got to sleep. So we gotta cook the first meal, so let's go cook it. Okay guys, so before we have our first meal of the day, I actually wanna check my ketones because obviously I know once I have my first meal, I'm not gonna be in ketosis because I'm about to have a crap load of carbs. So one thing I love using is my Keto Coach. And you guys obviously know if you're new to this channel, Keto Coach is a company I own, <clears throat> part owner. And uh, essentially what we do is it tests uh, ketones in the blood to make sure you're in ketosis or not. It's just a great way to stay on track. Just like if you eat something that you think is maybe keto friendly or maybe not keto friendly, check your ketones about 15 minutes later and then that will tell you if it was keto friendly or not. So that's why I like using it. But then I also just like, you know, just to see what my levels are in the morning, just to see, you know, how much they fluctuate throughout the day, uh, whatever I'm eating. Now, again, obviously just going to check today, not going to check uh, later on because I know I'm not going to be in ketosis because all the carbs. Uh, but one really cool thing that we're doing um, is that, oh yeah, you just poke yourself. A lot of people think that hurts. It does not hurt. Don't be a wuss. Okay, it doesn't hurt. Um, one thing that we're doing on December 2nd through the 6th is right after Thanksgiving, we're doing the ketosis challenge, which, which I think is super cool because you guys know, especially me, I am going to go crazy on Thanksgiving and I am not going to judge anybody who goes crazy on Thanksgiving because it's Thanksgiving and it only comes once a year. So I know a lot of you are gonna be eating carbs and it's all good because after that, December 2nd through the 6th, we are doing the five day ketosis challenge where a bunch of friends, a bunch of influencers are all gonna be trying to get back on track, get back ketosis and there's gonna be a bunch of prizes, a bunch of giveaways. I'll have information in the link below so if you guys want to participate, make sure you get your keto coach. If you already have a keto coach, make sure you get some strips because it's going to be fun. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways and it's going to be super cool. So as you can see, 0 0.4, I am one point away from being in ketosis. It's all good. I did have some sweet potato fries last night, which I did calculate to be around 30 to 40 grams of carbs. Again. I like to roughly keep about 30 to 50 during this bulking stage, but again, I did think I was gonna be in ketosis, but it's all good. Maybe it was just a little bit too much sweet potatoes. So there we go, 0 0.4, not worried about it because I'm sure I'll get back in ketosis in a couple of days after I burn up through all this glycogen that I'm about to eat, but Whew, now let's have our first meal of the day. Okay, so for the first meal, we're keeping it pretty basic. We have 170 grams of yogurt, as you can see, and then it's up to you, but I always like to just sweeten up my yogurt just a little bit. So uh, I like to put some of this Truvia right here, Stevia, monk fruit, whatever you wanna use, and I just pour a little bit just to give it a little bit of a little sweet taste. You don't have to, but that's just me. Also have 60 grams of oatmeal right here, and we're gonna put a little bit of this ground cinnamon like so. Uh, but this is always typically my first breakfast. Um, um, whenever I do a refi day, it's always going to incorporate oatmeal. Boring, boring oatmeal, but hey, it is what it is. I've said this many times, guys. A refi day is not a cheat day. It's very structured, very boring. And I know a lot of you probably want to know where my macros are, and we're going to definitely dive into this. So let me finish this meal, and then we'll dive into where my macros are and where your macros should be, because a lot of people are asking, since I'm already in a surplus, when you do a refi day, do you continue during a surplus? That's a great question. I'll answer that as soon as we finish. Whoa. 
Okay, so we just got to HEB. I need to pick up a couple of groceries for the day. But before we go inside, let's go over macros because I think that was like the number one question in my last refeed day was where, uh, where are my macros at and where should your macros be at? So when I do a refeed day, guys, you have to understand it's the complete opposite from what I typically do on a keto day. So on a keto day, it's very high fats, pretty high protein, and very, very low carbs. When I do a refeed day, it's very high carbs, obviously, very low protein, like 100 grams, and almost no fat. So I'm thinking I'm aiming for about 20 grams of fat. And so that is a refeed day for me, but I set my calories pretty low, guys. Like I'm not gonna say it's a calorie deficit, but it's somewhere in between maintenance and slightly below maintenance. I do not eat in a calorie surplus like I typically do when I'm bulking. So as you guys know, right here in this time period, I'm bulking. So I'm in a calorie surplus eating around, I don't know, I, I try to aim for 3,000 calories per day. I don't always hit it because it's a lot of food. I know a lot of you probably laughing like, dude, 3,000 calories is not a lot. It is for me, man. Every single day, 3,000 calories, it's pretty tough. Um, but that's what I aim for. But when I do a refeed day, it's dramatically lower than that. And the reason for that is because the carbs are so high. I'm aiming for about 350 grams of carbs. And trust me, that's gonna fill me up. And so I, it's roughly around 2,000 calories. So 2,000 calories, 350 grams of carbs, 100 grams of protein, and about 20 grams of fat is where my macros are. So that's how I do it. I'm not gonna tell you how you should do it. You just gotta play around with it, guys. Um, when I first started getting into refeed days, I was testing them out. Uh, one day I did a refeed day, and I was in a calorie surplus and I felt miserable. It was way too many carbs, way too much food. I didn't like it. It just totally bloated me up like the next couple of days and I did not like it. I found that when I did it like slightly under maintenance, around 2000 calories, that I felt fine. And I actually felt like it benefited me. So that's why I've stayed around this area. Now, one of the other benefits when you have a refeed day and you having that higher amounts of carbs is that it's gonna affect your liptin levels, uh, which directly affects your metabolism. So if your metabolism is slowing, it's definitely gonna give it that ramp up, right? That's what's gonna give you that energy the next couple of days where you're just like, man, I feel like a beast. Um, so again, I use refeed days as a tool, guys. Like I want my body to utilize fats on a ketogenic diet. Uh, I want my body to be able to use carbs when I do refeed days. I just want my body to be efficient. Now again, I am bulking right now and I will get to the reason why I do this bulk around this time, what my goals are, but we gotta go inside because I can just see HEB is freaking packed right now. Now. So I just want to get in here, get out, and we got to get ready for meal number two. And then I will talk about my goals, my strategy, and why the heck do I bulk? And what am I chasing? Like, what, what are my ultimate goals, Logan? What am I trying to achieve? I'm going to tell you. And to a lot of you, it may be stupid. And actually, to tell you the truth, guys, to me, sometimes I lay in bed. I'm like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? But I'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay, so needed to pick up some sweet potatoes and jasmine rice. As you can tell, I don't ever plan for these refeed days. Well, actually, I do plan for them. I just don't have them enough. And so I never go shopping uh, for jasmine rice and sweet potatoes whenever I'm at the grocery store. So anyways, uh, picked up enough carbs for the day. Now we gotta get home, cook these sweet potatoes because you know, you know how long sweet potatoes take.
All right, guys, so on to meal number two. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be an actually a really high carb meal. So we have almost 900 grams of sweet potatoes, but I don't wanna make the same mistake I made last time. When I was doing my last refeed day, at the end of the day, I had like a crab load of carbs to eat uh, to make up for, and so I'm not gonna make that same mistake. So this is gonna be my biggest carb meal of the day, which is all good, because this will serve as my pre-workout uh, meal, I guess you could say that, because I'm gonna work out in about three hours. And then we have four ounces of chicken breast, pretty basic, pretty simple. Now, again, one thing I forgot, I did get a HEB was my Walden Farms pancake syrup, zero calorie. You guys know I love adding this to my sweet potatoes. It just, I don't know, like to me, it's just, it's almost like a dessert, like a dessert without being a dessert. Uh, so I love my Walden Farms, got that from HEB. Uh, I'm sure you can order it online as well. And then I'm gonna throw a little bit of ground cinnamon. And this is gonna be meal number two. Like I said, guys, this is pretty basic, uh, pretty boring, I would say, but hey, it's gonna do the job. And again, this refeed day is gonna feed the purpose. Now, after this, I promise you, I promise you, I will get to why I'm doing this, why I do refeed days, and what my ultimate goals are for October, November, December. Because I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm ready for this bulk to be over. I know I jumped on the scale this morning and it said 202, which I was really surprised by because I've been getting on the scale lately and it's been like around 208, close to 210, and I feel every bit of 210. Like, I feel heavy. This is definitely the biggest I've been in a good while, uh, but it's definitely the strongest. So again, we'll get to the whole reason why I'm doing this, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am definitely ready to stop eating a calorie surplus. It's getting harder and harder, and I'm not liking the feeling, and I'm also not liking the mirror checks in the morning. Like, I'm a little bloated. Like. The abs are slowly but surely going away, but I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna panic, Hispanic, because I know it's all part of the process, and once January 1st comes, the keto cut starts, and those abs will come back. But again, gonna eat this food, and then I promise you, we'll get to why the heck I'm doing all this. So let me talk about like what my ultimate goals are and why I'm doing this bulk. Um, so guys, you know this, every October, November, and December, I go into a calorie surplus. I kind of, I'm more relaxed about what I eat. My carbs are a lot higher. I do refeed days. And the purpose of that is because there's certain numbers I want to hit on bench press, deadlift, and squat. So if you guys remember last year when me and Isaiah were doing our power building program, we hit PRs and everything. Well, actually, I say we hit PRs and everything because I didn't really know what my maxes were during deadlift, squat, and bench press. I mean, I knew what it was on bench press, but I didn't have like a certain squat PR. I never really went for that epic, epic PR, right? And so last year we finished off with 565 pounds on squat, which was an absolute struggle. I'll put it right here, boom. And then on bench press, we hit like my ultimate goal, which was 405 for one epic, epic rep. So on deadlift, I didn't really know what my PR was. And so I went for 585, got it up super easy. And if you guys don't know, I've talked about this before. There's a board on our gym, which gives the top three lifters in each category. So the top three lifters in bench, the top three lifters in squat and the top three lifters in deadlift. And I'm right there. I'm right there on getting on the board for deadlift and squat. So if you guys remember last year, Isaiah got on the board. He squatted 585, which I did attempt, which was like, yeah, no, I was, there's no way in heck that I was gonna get. And on deadlift, the closest number to get on board was 615. And so I did 585 easy, like it came up super fast. So let's go for 615, let's do it. And long story short, I didn't get it. I mean, I got so stinking close, didn't get it. And so this year around, I'm like, all right, I have to get on that board. I gotta get on that board. That's my ultimate goal is to just get on the board for one of those lifts. Obviously, I'm not gonna get there for bench press because like on bench press, like the closest number to get on the board is 465, which it's just not gonna happen. Just It's not realistic, there's no way. But I can get on it for squat and deadlift. So tomorrow, I am going to try to attempt to get on that board for squat. The closest number to get on would be 580, which would be third place behind Isaiah. Um, and so I tried it last two weeks ago, and I got under it, and it felt good. Like, I was not intimidated by it. I felt like, oh man, this is, I got this, I can control it, Let, let's go. 
went down, but I just, I didn't place it right. I, I, the, the angle was off and I didn't get it. But again, before that, I was squatting like a normal squat day. So I was using a lot of reps. I was having a normal workout, no intention to PR. I just was feeling good that day and I just wanted to attempt it. And so tomorrow, I am going for it. This is why I'm having my refeed today. So I'm gonna use these extra carbs to try to push me to get on that board. Cause I, I really, realistically guys, I wanna get on that board because I'm so sick of bulking. Like I'm so sick of eating all the time. Every, every morning I wake up, I'm like, oh, I'm far behind. I need to start eating. Um, it, it's it's a hassle. It's a hassle to to try to gain weight. It's a hassle to try to build strength because you constantly need to eat, and that's not like me. Like majority of the year, guys, you know I fast. I keep my calories, you know, somewhat maintenance. Uh, you know, a little below maintenance, and it's just it's a lot of food. So it's definitely something I'm not used to. And again. As you can hear, RC, my belly is a little bit bigger than it normally is throughout the year. And it's just not, I'm just not, I don't like it. Like, right, just, I'm, I'm ready to get over it. So if I do get on that board tomorrow, I'm not going to be so focused on bulking. I'm just going to just kind of just relax and just, you know, just chill for the rest of the year and then get ready for the keto cut on January 1st. That's the goal, guys. That is the ultimate goal. And again, the reason why I say it's stupid is because when you lift heavy weight like this, guys, it is very taxing on the body. It's very easy to get injuries. And I'd be lying to you if I told you I, I don't have injuries because I do. Putting 565 pounds on your spine squatting is not, is not smart. It's stupid. And I understand that. They'll be nights that I'm laying in bed or mornings that I'm getting up and I feel like I've been hit by an 18 wheeler. My back hurts, my legs are hurting, and it's because I'm doing this really heavy weight. I mean, just go ask any power lifter out there. I guarantee their body aches all the time because our bodies are not really designed to pick up that heavy amount of weight all the time. Now, I'm not doing it all the time, but at least for these, these past three months, uh, I've been doing it and it's just like, my body's just like, dude, like, bro, like, what are you doing, Logan? Like, we're getting older, you're putting more weight on us, like, what are you doing? And I definitely feel, like I said, I have back issues, I have shoulder issues, I have elbow issues, and I'm just ready to just get on that board so I can just move past this and just enjoy the rest of the year and just lift without like having any body aches, right? And so that's why I say it's kind of stupid of me because I understand that what I'm doing to my body is definitely breaking down my body. I'm getting injuries and there's no need to, but the ego, the caveman mentality in me is like, I gotta get on that board. I wanna get on that board. So it's like this love-hate relationship, right? So I'm just ready to get on that board so I can move forward. So guys, wish me luck. Let me know in the comments. Give me some motivation. Give me some encouragement. So by the time you're watching this video, I may be on my way to the gym or I'm about to hit this epic uh, squat day PR because I'm gonna go at about 5.30. And so this video will be live about 12, so about five hour gap. So guys, wish me luck. Give me some motivation. I'm probably gonna be coming to the comments right before the squat PR just to get some motivation from you guys, to get some encouragement. I just wanna get on that board, man. I wanna get on that board. I wanna hit 580 on squat. I know I can do it. I believe in myself. Ah, I'm getting hyped up already, man. I'm getting hyped up already, all right. So anyways, guys, gonna let this food digest and then we will see you in the gym at five. Yeah, boy, I got the sun in my eyes. It is gym time, guys, so it is chest day. You've seen many of my chest days workout, but this is gonna be a little bit different. So uh, typically, we would do heavy bench press on this day, uh, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a high volume chest day because I wanna save a little bit of energy for tomorrow. Yes, I know it's upper body. Some of you are probably thinking like, yo, how am I gonna take energy uh, from my legs if I'm doing upper body? I don't wanna risk it, all right? I don't wanna risk it. You guys know I wanna hurry up and get up on this board and get this over with, so uh, let's go work out.
Mina! Mm -hmm. Hi, mamas! Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, you look sick. Hi, runny nose. Oh, Mina. <laughs> okay, guys, so just got to my parents to pick up Mina, and as you can tell, well, now you're starting to smile. I don't think she's feeling good. My mom says she has a runny nose, and normally, as soon as she sees me, like, she'll be laughing and giggling and smiling, but she's kind of just been like, oh, no, what? What's the matter, mamas? I can tell like she's probably not feeling good, but hopefully she gets a little bit better. You ready to go home? You ready to go home and see mama? And, uh, and your sister? Hey, are you hitting me? <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Lolo, are you making a mess? Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Okay guys, so I better hurry before she gets all my food and puts it in her little cup. And I already got my macros calculated, so she's messing up my macros. Um, I'm sorry it's loud because I got Mina jumping over there. I got the TV on. As soon as I got home, mom was like, tag, you're it. So she's going to Marshall's or Michael's because it is Baby Lowe's birthday on Sunday. And she's having a baby shark party. Yes, baby. <coughs> Mama, you're messing up all my macros right now. Okay, so. Before Lo started messing with macros, I have four ounces of chicken and one or two cups of Uncle Ben's ready ready-made rice. Mommy, yes, mommy. mommy. Where's mommy? Mommy went to um, go to Marshall's to get a break from you girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so let me get my phone so I can tell you my macros for the day. So total macros for the day ended up at 109 grams of protein. Yes, baby. You need a fork? Oh, you need a spoon? Okay. Um, 331 grams of carbs. So we were 19 short, but that's all good. And then we had 23 grams of fat. And those are my total macros coming out to 1,923. So a little bit under 2,000, but again, it's all good. I had plenty of carbs today, so I'm good. I can't fit any more carbs in for the day. I think this girl needs some carbs. I think this girl needs some car because she's definitely working out like crazy. Yes, baby. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching the video. Wish me luck. I'm sorry that it's so loud at the end of this video. I'm so sorry, but once you become a parent, you will understand. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>